Greeting. This is a MIDI violin that I made this weekend. It uses an optical computer mouse as a sensor and a piece of wood as a bow. The mouse is configured to run in PS2 mode and is talking to an Arduino microcontroller. The Arduino software reads the mouse data, the switches that are on the fingerboard, and determines which MIDI note to send to the MIDI output. The angle of the bow, when it starts to move, determines which of the virtual strings is being played. You can move the bow to other angles while playing and the note will not change. Only when the bow stops does it start a new string. The idea here is that you can start off with one on one string and by changing the angle of the bow send say modulation data or pitch bend. Currently the virtual string indicator LEDs only show the string that was initially the note that initially started on. What I need to do is make it so that it shows the current virtual string that determined by the angle of the bow so that when the bow changes direction you know which string is going to play next. As you can see currently it's probably a little, little bit too sensitive to the motion of the bow. Just by changing the angle of the bow the motion triggers a note to play. Here I have my first attempt at a mock-up of how I want to m mount the mouse so that I can play it. I put a piece of dowel as a post to rest the bow on, effectively. Another piece of dowel here to help to keep the, but the, the bow next, next to the mouse. And some pieces of wood just to make it look some maybe violin size. So, so today I've been working on the software and hardware part to interface the mouse to the Arduino. So this is, this is a mouse I took apart just to see what was inside it. As you can see basically it's the camera chip, a LED source and a little bit of electronics, some switches. Here's an Arduino I've uh, attached it to. So basically um, using this USB to PS2 adapter for a mouse I traced the wiring and wired up power supply and data and clock pins in the PS2 mode of the device to the Arduino. So this is the this is the digital pins two and three on the Arduino which are used for the clock and data and power supply. So one of the things I had to do today was to get the software working using some of the available software that's on the uh, Arduino site. I was able to get, put together a modified version to allow me to do my mouse stuff. So that seems a bit weird writing a software to talk to a mouse. But that's what you have to do. 
you have to write something that initializes it and then decodes what it sends back and uh, I've done all that um, I got to the point where I could uh, get the x and y values accumulate them then I had to get the point where the, the, once I could accumulate the x and y position I could write some software to do deltas over time to see how fast it was moving and then decide when to start and stop the note so I've got the debugging software that does that and I can demonstrate it when I uh, by running the uh, turning on the turning on the Arduino serial port. I've now glued the violin cutout shape onto the initial prototype. As you can see, the mouse is still there, and I have a place here where I can put switches for the fingering. I've soldered on to the circuit board these pin headers. I will use those so that I can hook up another Arduino as a serial programmer so I can download software onto the board and also I'll use two of the pins to connect to the mouse cable.